Hello, it's Who time. Now it's a nice rainy day, so I've got to take the opportunity to reminisce about a great Doctor Who convention I went to back in 2019, and it's called The Gathering. Its aim was twofold. First, to assemble the largest number of Daleks in one place to beat the world record, the Guinness World Record, whilst also raising money for Great Ormond Street Hospital and also for the more local Julie's House Children's Hospice in Devizes, Wiltshire. It lined up perfectly with my life at the time. It was on the day before my birthday, on the 10th of March 2019, and it was also being held very close to me in Chippenham. Also, I have two full-size Daleks, and one I just finished recently refurbishing, and the other one had been in the family for years. I had to go, I had no excuse. Now, this was my first Doctor Who convention. Of course, I'd been to Comic-Cons before, but I hadn't been to conventions dedicated to Doctor Who before, so this was very exciting, especially with a world record at stake. There were many Who-related celebrity guests, mainly from the Sixth Doctor era for some strange reason. So to kick things off, we had Colin Baker, the Sixth Doctor himself. Who's the prettiest Dalek of all? We had Nicola Bryant, companion to the Sixth Doctor and the Fifth Doctor. I love Doctor Who, and I love all these amazing fans who have built all these incredible Daleks. Michael Jason, who played the Veil Yard in season 23. Terry Malloy, who played Davros throughout the 80s, and Nabil Shaban, who played Syl in season 22 in Vengeance of Varos and also in season 23 in Mindwalk. But they also had David Goodison, who played Davros in Destiny of the Daleks. They had Simon Fisher Becker, who played Dorian throughout series 6, The Blue Bloke. They also had Ross Mullen, who I played the Silence uh, with Matt Smith, and I played the Teller with Peter Oh. And last but not least, they had Colin Spall. Now I know what you're thinking, who the hell is that? I beg your attention! <laughs> well let me remind you. Well he was John Lumix's right hand man in series 2 in the two-parter Rise of the Men and the Age of Steel. In addition to that, there were talks, Q&As, photo shoots, stalls with Doctor Who merch for sale, cosplay competitions, workshops, and also a raffle to win a full-size purple dive. The day started off pretty early with Daleks and their respective owners assembling between 8 and 9 a.m. at Olympiad Leisure Centre in Chippenham so all the Daleks could be numbered and then put in place in the main hall ahead of the opening time to the public at 10 a.m. For a Doctor Who geek, especially a Dalek fan, this was super exciting. There was such an array of Daleks from every era of the show. The 60s, the 70s and 80s, the new series Bronze Daleks and Paradigm versions. Even various movie Daleks. Some standouts for me were the Death of the Daleks one and the Special Weapons Dalek. There were also some unique custom ones as well. There was a pink anti-breast cancer Dalek. There was a LGBTQ plus Dalek in rainbow colours. And there was even one that was on Britain's Got Talent called Ron. Hello? <laughs> What's your name? What's the big dream, Ron? There was even a strange open casing dancing Dalek with some hefty speakers and subwoofer. It had some serious bass. I was there with my two full-size Daleks, my black and white Resurrection Supreme Dalek and my grey and black Genesis Dalek, numbers 62 and 65 respectively. It wasn't super smooth as the slats and mesh fell off my Genesis Dalek, fell into the grass, but fortunately I managed to recover them and stick them back on, at least temporarily, with some super glue. Also, one of the hemispheres fell off my Resurrection Supreme Dalek, but I had some epoxy resin with me, so I managed to stick that back on. So they looked presentable when they're on display in the main hall. Look out for some separate videos on my full-size Daleks, actually. I think they deserve their own videos, don't you agree? Since they're beautiful genocidal maniacs and they have interesting backgrounds, so keep an eye out for those. Now, the count for the Dalek world record wasn't taken until late in the day, to allow time for latecomers to come with their Daleks and be counted. Plus it keeps people on tenterhooks and gives them a reason to stick around, along with all the planned events of course. For the rest of the morning I went round talking to other Dalek owners and Doctor Who fans, plus I met David Goodison, Terry Malloy and Nabil Shaban and got their autographs. I also got photos with them but shortly after the convention my iPhone ended up in the washing machine so I lost those photos because I'm an idiot. I've got memories. 
For the afternoon, I volunteered to help with the running of the convention. I applied in advance for this, and because I brought two full-size Daleks along, I got the awesome gig of sitting next to the sixth doctor himself, Colin Baker. Fortunately, I still have the photos for this one. And over the course of the afternoon, I helped take payments for photos and signatures. I got the amount wrong for selfies for a small period. Cut me some slack. I got up early that morning, had to bring two full-size Daleks. I was a bit tired. <laughs> And uh, Colin had a go at me. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually. It was like being a Sixth Doctor companion. We had a good chat together over the afternoon, talking about the convention circuit and his personal life. He also signed this copy of Masters of Earth for me and took selfies with me for free. At the end of the day, he gave me a hug as well after I helped him put stuff in his car. Amazing. Little did he know that he would meet me again as a vervoid in Science of the Time Lords in January 2020. You were in Kablam? <laughs> so, I hear you ask, did we beat the world record? And uh, sadly, we didn't quite beat the world record. We got to 87, and the record was at 95. This was achieved at the National Space Centre in Leicester back in November 2008. Now, strangely, the Dalek world record counted people dressed as Daleks, and not just actual Dalek props. There were a few, 14 looking at the photo I took, Plus me, actually, I was the last Dalek, Dalek number 87, and unexpectedly, I was interviewed by Time Travel TV on YouTube. Here's the embarrassing clip. At the end of the Parade of the Daleks, I'm here with Dalek number 87. Now, we need more than 95 to beat the record, so I'm hoping Hello. there might be some last-minute extras, but it looks like you might be the last one. How do you feel about that? Well, it's fab, but I do hope another eight Daleks turn up or more. We need, was it 95 was the... That's right, 95 yeah. is the existing oh, record. so damn close. Frustratingly, the previous record was set with 44 actual Dalek props and the rest were costumes. In this attempt, we had 74 real full-size Daleks. More than has ever been in one place before. So, even though Guinness doesn't recognise this, we can claim an unofficial world record for the largest gathering of real full-size Dalek props with 74. So the other remaining question is, did you raise a load of dosh for charity? Simple answer, yes. With the help of Who Celebs donating their proceeds, a few weeks later, the event organizers, the Sons of Scaro, presented Julia's House Children's Hospice with a cheque for a grand, equating to about 50% of the profits obtained from the gathering. Hooray! Also, a few days later, they presented another cheque to Great Ormond Street Hospital, which included that thousand, plus a load of other fundraising they've done throughout the rest of the year. So they actually got a cheque for five grand. So that's a fantastic effort. So what next? Well, I think this Dalek puts it best. This is only the beginning. We will prepare. When the time is right, we will emerge as the supreme power of the universe! So originally, the Gathering 2020 was supposed to take place on the 1st of November in Swindon. But unfortunately, due to the unprecedented circumstances with the COVID-19 outbreak, it's been postponed to November 2021. So hopefully that goes ahead, fingers crossed, I'd love to go. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also click on that bell for notifications of new content. You can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at WhoTimeUK. Cheers again for watching. I'll see you next time.